Welcome to another edition of the Damey Vlog. My name is Dr. David Dizer. I'm a naturopathic doctor and the medical director at DamieHealth.com. On this show, we cover all things holistic health and wellness re related. If you like videos that cover holistic health topics, please subscribe to our channel for more like this one. Today on the show, we're talking a little bit about blue light therapy. Clinically, we use blue light therapy to help people regulate their circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm is the rhythm of your day, sleeping at night and being awake when it's light out. However, when that circadian rhythm is disrupted, symptoms can occur. Very often we see depression, very often we see anxiety, we see fatigue, we see mood changes and personality changes in general. Most common, uh, the most common symptom presentation here in Vancouver is seasonal affective disorder because we get so much rain and darkness in the winter. So um, we see a lot of seasonal affective disorder, but we also see a lot of insomnia. Many people in the city have blackout blinds uh, because it is so bright and we have such long days in the summer. Many people in the city are significantly affected by the dark, dark winters we experience. So we end up doing a lot of blue light therapy. Now, where is the research for blue light therapy? Well, we know that blue light therapy can be really, really good for uh, cognitive enhancements in seniors. It can be really, really good for alertness when you're living in a very dark place like Vancouver. We know it can be good for raising mood, uh, especially in dark places. And we know that it can be effective when done properly in uh, helping to reset their circadian rhythm uh, and teach the brain when it's morning and when it's nighttime so that sleep can happen in a natural state, in a natural manner. So those are the places we use it. It has been studied uh, for a series of, uh, of conditions. Um, the most uh, recent study was in traumatic brain injury. It was shown, blue light therapy was shown to be effective for the fatigue of traumatic brain injury. So uh, TBI, so that's very cool and we'll be using that in, in this practice um, very shortly. I personally have the Philips blue light and this is the one that I recommend to my patients because it's relatively inexpensive and easy to use and it's quite, in, quite effective. So in the winter here, I'll do 30 minutes in the morning, just have it on in the room that I'm in and I notice energy uh, changes. I'm a person who can continue to sleep even when not necessary. And I know a lot of people like that, especially in the city, especially when it's very dark in the morning in the winter. So I will recommend that people wake and use blue light uh, first thing in the morning. I have it on my desk because I will use it when during times of drowsiness during the day just for a quick pick me up pick me up we know the studies are for raising of mood in seasonal affective disorder and in mild depression we know the studies are there for cognitive imp uh, improvement enhancement in the elderly and we know it's there for energy improvements in traumatic brain injury so um, lots of good data for this type of therapy very inexpensive and easy to do so I love using it um, as an adjunct to uh, the typical protocols we would use for say depression and fatigue in my uh, comprehensive uh, integrative naturopathic practice that's a little bit of blue light therapy it's very very helpful for telling the brain that it's daytime when it's daytime and um, you know you're probably familiar with blue light because we tell people to avoid it at night so they can sleep better. When you're around blue light, your pineal gland will not release melatonin at the rate that it should at nighttime. So if you're in front of a blue light screen, a TV or a phone before bed, it's hard to get that proper melatonin secretion. So at night, it's important to avoid blue light. Um, but when you live in a dark place, if you have low energy and low mood during the day, if you don't feel as sharp as you normally uh, would, Blue light therapy might be beneficial for you, but consult someone before you do it. The typical protocol we do use in insomnia is uh, quite specific. 30 minutes after an hour of waking in the morning, 12 hours later, we'll give another little shot of blue light just to close out the day and then try to avoid blue light for the remainder of the day leading up to sleep. That's a typical protocol I use. I've seen it work in very difficult cases of insomnia. That's a little bit about blue light therapy and how we might use it in a naturopathic practice. It's an excellent therapy and I, I'd like to use it as a holistic approach to chronic disease management. Thank you so much for watching. If you love holistic health and wellness, please subscribe. We'll be doing more videos like this one, informational type videos in the future. Thanks, bye.